Take control of your 3D layers right in After Effects and create amazing animations just like this. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is King Sam and in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how I made this animation right here in After Effects with no extra plugins. If you want to reach out to me and connect with me, the best way to do that is by joining my WhatsApp community. The link is in the video description. You can just say hi and hang out with other crazy people just like yourself. And without talking too much, please remember like, share, and subscribe if this video helps you in any way. And I'll be really, really grateful. We are almost at 2,000 subs, and I'll be so grateful you guys can just nudge me over the line. So let's jump right into today's video. Okay, so we are going to start here in Adobe After Effects, and I'm first going to create a new composition. I think 20 by 10 empty, let me get 30 frames per second, and let's click on OK. Now I'm going to my shape tool here and I'm just going to draw a simple rectangle like this. Now we'll open a rectangle, open a rectangle part and I'm just going to increase the roundness until I get something like this. And I'm going to shut off the stroke and I'm going to change the fill to blue. Cool. So the next one I'm going to do now, I'm going to draw in this rectangle. Something like this. And I'm going to open it up and I'm going to increase the roundness a bit. So like this. And I'm just going to adjust and arrange them. And I'm going to align and align the both of them to the center of my composition. Now next thing I'm going to do is for this my shape layer here, the top one. I'm going to change the color to white. Now let's create a new solid. And I'm going to make the color ash. And now I'm going to drag that to the bottom of my composition right here. So next I'm going to do here is I'm going to my um, background solid here and this is my top layer here I'm going to move it down here so let's just call this big rec and now I'm going to change the track mat here to big rec and I can see that it's only showing inside and I'm just going to invert the layer so it's going to show like this so now I'm going back here and I'm just going to type, type in my text and my text is learn more. I'm just going to change this to a capital letter L and I can change the color to yellow. And I'm just going to reposition it to the middle of my composition. And finally, let's align it to the center of our composition. Now, next I'm going to do is I'm going to my pen tool here. I'm just going to draw a mouse. So, let's work. And another one here is up. So, let's just adjust some of these parts a little bit like this. That's cool. And now I can just move this down right here. Now, next I'm going to do, I'm going to open up this my mouse layer. Let's rename it as mouse. I'm going to open up our rotation property and I'm just going to rotate it a bunch like this. Now I'm going to scale it down like this. That's looking cool. Now, at the end of my um, timeline here, I'm going to open my position property and I'm just going to make it go down somewhere around here. And I'm going to make a keyframe on my position. Now, I'm going to go out to the beginning of my timeline here. I'm just going to move the mouse out of frame. So, something like this. Now, I'm going to take my pen tool and somewhere around here, I'm just going to adjust the motion of the mouse to be something like this. So now, 
you have this smooth looking animation right here now i'm going to come to the end of the animation here and i'm just going to move down by two frames and i'm going to my learn more and this shape layer here and i'm going to parent my shape layer to this learn more layer right here and then i'm going to open my scale property for my learn more and i'm going to make it on my scale right here now i'm going to go down by two frames and i'm going to increase this to 90. i'm going down by three frames and i'm going to make another keyframe there at 90. i'll go down by two frames and i'm taking this back to 100. so now you have this cool looking button press animation now at the beginning of this my button press animation here also i'm going to go to my mouse layer here i'm going to open up my scale properties and i'm going to make a keyframe on the scale go down twice and i'm going to reduce this to 45 go down three times and i'm going to make another keyframe here still at 45 go down two times and i'm just going to repeat this keyframe again so you have this cool button click so you have this cool button press animation right here now for this final uh frame we are going to see the final animation you're going to see i immediately previous video you can go and watch how i made that animation right here i'm not going to go back to this video but a video on my channel you can watch and you get how i made it but i'm just going to move this backward somewhere around here now after this button click animation here next thing i'm going to do i'm going to move down again by two frames and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my mouse layer here my learn more layer here my, my shape layer my big recording my big rec rectangle layer here and my pill background this thing here and i'm just going to make all of them 3d layers now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new camera and i'm going to click on ok okay hey, so what i'm going to do now is i'm just going here i'm building change my camera view to two views so i can see it better like this and i'm just going to select this my shape layer to my mouse layer here and i'm going to open up the acquisition property and what I'm going to do is at this point in time here, I'm just going to make a keyframe on their position. And next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to move down to somewhere like here. All I'm going to do is I'm just going to move this in the position until it's out of the camera view. So let's keep on moving it. Maybe we probably. Check, check if you did. I don't know if I don't know. Okay, so I'm going to descend from my mouse here and I'm just going to move it onto this out of the side of my camera. And just make sure that you are looking at this point in time here that you can just see when it's in front of our um, bottom layer there. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to come to somewhere like here and I'm going to make a keyframe on my camera position. I'm going to move down here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to increase and zoom in to the axis of my camera. Like this and I'm just going to move this down a bit that's looking good now i'm going to select this here and i'm going to hit f9 to these and i'm just going to adjust it a little bit sorry and i'm just going to adjust the graph a little like this just a little bit and for my camera layer i'm going to do the exact same thing 
Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to this my layer that we have made before. And I'm just going to copy our original solid. So I don't have to reuse it again. I'm going to paste it here. I'm just going to move it to the back, move it downward in my composition. And I'm just going to fill in the black blank space. And let's shorten this somewhere like here. Okay. Now, at this portion of time here, I want my, I want this place to be white. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to come to this my shape layer here, not this one, our big rectangle layer here, and I'm going to duplicate it. And I'm going to bring it down right here, and I'm going to unhide it. And it's going to show white like this. Now, I want it to fade out as this one is fading in. So let's say, let's bring this closer to somewhere like here. And let's move this a big rectangle above it like this. Now, I'm going to click on T for my opacity uh, keyframe. And I'm going to make a keyframe on the opacity that's at 100 here. I'm going to move it back somewhere like here. And I'm going to turn this down to zero. Now we have cool looking animation here. Okay, I want the animation to happen a lot, a lot faster so I can just move this forward. Cool. So now I'm going to add our text and I'm going to my pen tool here. And I don't think we need the second view anymore. We just change it back to our one view. And we're going to type see the planets and now you can just reduce our text spacing and improve the size of the text and let's put that in the middle and now we're just going to make sure it's aligned properly to the middle like this change the color and we're just going to bring it to the top right here so now i'm going to open my position property here and i'm just going to make this a 3d layer and now i'm going to make a keyframe on my initial position then go to my final position right here and I'm just going to move this out of the frame by a whole lot. Here, I think I should move it back a little bit more. Okay, so I can just F9 to easy ease, and I'm just going to adjust my grab editor also, just a little bit like so. Are looking cool so now let's just work on our time a little bit so i'm going to select all these my layers here and i'm just going to drag them back like this so everything happens a little bit more slower okay i think this is happening a bit too fast for me so i can still take it back like this and let's see if i can bring this forward a little bit and let's just move this back a bit also Okay, so another thing I want to do is my mouse position here. Let's open up my keyframes, our keyframes for the mouse. And what I can do is I can just move this back. I think we just move this back here. Yeah, I think that was better. That is looking amazing. And another thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit F9. On my keyframes here and i think i think this way i can actually be smoother and now what i'm going to do is i actually forgot i'm just going to give my mouse a little bit of a strip so that it actually stands out a bit more so thank you guys for watching that video now that i have learned how to make some missing animation why don't you take a crack and learn how to make this one right here or you can also learn how to make 
this animation right here and i'll catch you in that video so remember improve every day grow constantly and dream endlessly love you guys